For the first time in a while, the UFC heavyweight division finally has some juice. Rising stars like Tom Aspinall, Sergei Pavlovich, and the subject of today's video, Jail Tin Almeida, have given the heavyweight division some much needed new blood. Almeida earned a UFC contract via Dana White's Contender Series in a matchup where he was the underdog, which in hindsight is crazy. Since then, he has been a minus 600 favorite on average in every UFC bout he's been in. Almeida has one objective, get the fight to the ground and methodically work his way to a dominant position. To this point, he's had no issue implementing this strategy. Is he bound for UFC gold? Let's find out. Here is a scattering report for Jailton Almeida. Jailton floats between light heavyweight and heavyweight, but with his recent success in the heavyweight division, it seems that he's focused his attention there. Still, it's important to note that he always has that light heavyweight card in his back pocket if things don't work out. What I like about Almeida is that he doesn't put on unnecessary weight when competing at heavyweight. He comes in at around the 230 pound range, his natural weight, and has no issue giving up 30 plus pounds to his opponents. Almeida doesn't mess around, he knows what he's good at. He shoots for takedowns within seconds of the opening bell. He is the rare Brazilian Jiu Jitsu prodigy with wrestling chops as well. This is a dangerous combo since many Jiu Jitsu specialists lack in the takedown department. Once he gets his opponent to the ground, he doesn't rush. He immediately traps the wrist and will wait until the opportunity presents itself to advance position and look for ground and pound or submission. He loves the rear naked choke. In fact, 10 of his 12 submission victories have come by rear naked choke. This is a perfect illustration of his fight strategy. Get on top, get to mount, and wait for your opponent to panic and give up his back. While you can argue his strength of schedule is not that impressive, it's still safe to say that Jailton Almeida's grappling is elite. You can tell when a guy is doing things that won't work on higher level competition, like an over-reliance on strength. That is not the case here. Almeida is patient. He doesn't make mistakes. He will wait for you to leave an opening and secure it with flawless technique. His contender series fight is a rare instance where he is on bottom. Nazardinov gets a nice judo throw after Almeida initiates the grappling. But Almeida doesn't panic. He controls the wrist and just waits. Nazardinov eventually picks his head up and loses some leverage which allows Almeida to reverse and stand up. While he is outsized in some heavyweight matchups, his excellent timing, technique, and strength allows him to take down much bigger opponents with ease. Almeida utilizes sort of an old school jiu-jitsu philosophy. Get the fight to the ground, advance position to back or mount, and finish the job. He's the epitome of position before submission. He has brutal ground and pound as well. I can't harp on the word patient enough. He doesn't swing like a madman with his ground and pound. He'll sit on top, wait, and pick his shots. Can you call something a weakness if you've never seen it? I've watched all of Almeida's UFC fights and his Contender Series fight, and he's thrown maybe 10 strikes on the feet? He has a boxing background, his dad was a boxer, his stance looks good. He's a great athlete and can move around, but we just don't know. My guess based on the limited tape would be that his striking is probably decent, he's actually thrown some heavy leg kicks, but his striking defense is likely poor. He did get tagged with the right hand against Abdurahimov, after which he immediately shot and took the big man down. Almeida has not been tested to this point, which is not his fault. While the heavyweight division is improving, it's still pretty shallow. His best win on paper is against Strazinho Rosenstrike, but entering that fight he was a minus 500 favorite because we know Rosenstrike has no wrestling. In that fight, Almeida lands sort of an awkward takedown which looked like a football tackle, but Rosenstrike has such bad grappling that it didn't matter. In fact, he's looking to his corner for instructions while he's on the ground. If you're doing that against Almeida, you're toast. Another unknown is his cardio. Judging by his physique and the fact that he's one of the lighter heavyweights, you think it's pretty good, but that's just an assumption. Wrestling is tiring, and this could potentially hurt him late in five rounders.
The UFC is due for a new Brazilian star with the retirements of Amanda Nunes, Jose Aldo, and Glover Teixeira. Jailton is a charismatic, likable guy. He's always having fun and giving credit to his coaches and teammates. Curtis Blades will be the toughest test for Almeida. It's a fascinating fight from a strategy standpoint, as I'm dying to see how Blades approaches it. He's a high-level wrestler, but does not have the jujitsu that Almeida does. On the other hand, Blades doesn't always use his wrestling, which can be frustrating to watch, considering all of his losses are by KO or TKO. Even though he's not a striker, you'd still have to say his striking is better than Almeida, I think. I don't know, we haven't really seen it yet. As a veteran who's gone the distance multiple times, Blade's best bet would be to drag Almeida into deep waters late in the fight. Even if his striking is completely exposed, I expect Almeida to remain in contention. It's much easier to neutralize a striking weakness with your wrestling than the reverse. Guys like Khabib Nurmagomedov, Colby Covington, and Murab Dualashvili reached the top level with below average striking because their grappling was that good. We haven't seen this level of grappler in the heavyweight division since Fabricio Verdun. Almeida is only 32, he has some good years left, especially in a higher weight class. It'll be interesting to look back at this video and see how his career turns out. What are your thoughts on Jailton Almeida? Comment below and tell us. I'm Sean from the Octagon Observer, and I'll see you next time.